One of the things all nursery owners dread is frost. Plants become unsightly, stock is reduced and as a result a large percentage of revenue can be lost. This makes frost management and prevention thereof an essential task in all nurseries that experience frosty winters. In this video we are going to discuss how and why frost damages plants and how growers can implement practical solutions to prevent and manage the negative effects thereof. If you would like to keep all of this information on hand then check out the link to our ebook in the description. Let's start off by discussing why frost is damaging to plants. Depending on the plant, some species can be damaged by cold temperatures well above freezing point, this is known as chilling injury, while others will only suffer when temperatures fall below freezing, this is known as freezing injury. At which temperature a plant begins to suffer from either injury is heavily dependent on the plant species and how long they are exposed to a given temperature. For example, some subtropical fruit plants will experience chilling injury at temperatures below 5 degrees Celsius, while temperate fruits, such as plums, will only suffer below temperatures of negative 1.5 degrees Celsius. Plants suffer from frost damage because the liquids inside their cells freeze and ice crystals form. This blocks water and nutrient uptake and it can also cause the plant cells to burst. As a result of damaged cells and reduced water and nutrient circulation, the plants dehydrate and wilt. The good news is that plants already have adaptive mechanisms to protect themselves from frost damage. When temperatures start to decrease, the sugar concentrations within the plant cells increases, which in turn decreases the freezing point of the solutions within the cells. Furthermore, there are frost protective compounds called anthocyanins that some plants produce in response to cold temperatures. These compounds change the color of the plants to give them a reddish hue. This can be seen in species like Nandina domestica, Abelia grandiflora, and ornamental kale. There are a variety of methods that you can consider implementing in your nursery to prevent your plants from suffering from frost damage. Here are some of our recommendations. You can save yourself a lot of extra effort by creating a production cycle that focuses on growing frost tender plants in the summer months and more hardier plants in the cool winter months. This is especially true for annual species. This may also help you to improve turnaround in your nursery, as many clients will not be looking for summer plants during the frosty winter times and you do not want to be left sitting with unsold stock. If you are a grower of perennials however, then the long production cycles will mean you cannot avoid having frost tender plants in your nursery during the winter time. If this is the case then you can think about using the following strategies. If you experience mild frost events and do not receive heavy winter snows, then you may be able to get away with simple frost nets. These nets are placed over the plants at night and are removed during the day when it starts to get warmer. They work by retaining the heat accumulated during the day and allowing it to recirculate around the plants throughout the night. When installing these nets, you can use a hoop system to drape the nets over. You must also ensure the nets are completely sealed at the bottom and that any nets with big holes are discarded. Keep the spacing between your plants tight. Closer plantings will retain heat better, but you will need to keep an eye out for any pathogens or pests that like dense plantings. Irrigation timing can play a big role in limiting the amount of frost damage in your plants. Early morning irrigations can help for frost, and well-watered soils retain heat better than dry soils, so make sure you keep your plants well irrigated even in the winter times. Do not let your plants experience any other stresses at this time. Between the plant's ability to protect itself from the cold and the methods you implement to help them, they should be able to survive mild frost events. However, any other stress like water deficiencies or disease infestations will most likely spell doom for your plants. Manage your fertilizer schedule according to season. Limit your nitrogen applications as autumn approaches, as it will encourage lush growth which will only be more susceptible to frost in the winter. Phosphorus can be applied just before the cool season to encourage root growth, which will help the plant survive frost even if all the above ground growth dies. If you are just starting your nursery then consider selecting a site that has a warmer microclimate than the surrounding areas. By choosing an area that receives ample sunlight with windbreaks, you will already gain yourself an extra degree or two in the winter time. If you experience heavy frost and snowy winters, then you'll have to invest in glass houses, greenhouses and propagation houses to protect your plants. These are expensive investments but it may be worthwhile if it can guarantee you can grow a variety of high quality plants year round. These structures can also be fitted with heating systems such as buried pipes or overhead heating. Heat lamps can also be installed to keep the temperatures balmy. Structures with double layered coverings insulate the plants by keeping a vacuum between the two layers. These strategies, especially when they are used in conjunction with one another, will help you to protect your plants from frost. Now prevention is always ideal, but in practical terms it is difficult to protect every plant from frost injury at all times. So if you do find yourself sitting with frost damaged plants, what can you do about it? 
Many plants have adaptive mechanisms that allow them to survive frosty events. So even though your plants may look dead, their root system may still be viable. Therefore, wait until the spring and see if the plant grows new shoots. If this is not the case, then discard any dead plants. If you notice any damage on evergreen species, do not prune away the damaged leaves. Any pruning will only make the growth lower down on the stems and branches more susceptible to frost. So rather leave the sacrifice tips as they are and prune them away in the spring. And that brings us to the end on our video on how to prevent and manage frost. Before you go, check out our ebook in the description below and we will see you in the next video.